So what I do is I just wake up, I come to the studio, I work all day long, and then I go to sleep. So whether there is a pandemic or not, actually doesn't affect me that much. For this new show at uh, Galerie Baton, uh, which is my second show in the gallery, um, I made or I'm showing recent works uh, I've been doing the last year. Um, and there has been a big change uh, the last few years in my work. And the change is that I've been working or I discovered a new material that allows me to work in color. And this new material is the oil pastel. Um, and it has been a search for, let's say, the last 10 years to find a material that allows me to, to create my drawings um, in a bigger size in color. So I'm extremely happy that I found this very inspiring material, this, this oil pastel. And apart from the oil pastel drawings, I show uh, some pieces on canvas uh, made in charcoal. There will also be some smaller uh, drawings made in color uh, pencil. And there will also be my new movie, uh, which I made um, in the last two years. It's completely shot uh, in my studio, so I never leave the studio uh, to shoot scenes. Um, so everything you see is built in the studio. Since my work is, a, I describe it as a fictional autobiography, I wanted to be in front of the camera at the same time. And this mask I have made uh, out of rubber and latex and is um, inspired on my own face, my own portrait. Um, and in a way, it's a kind of doubling of my own persona. So the entire film, La Ruta Natural, is a loop and it's a never ending story. So the beginning, uh, the, the end of the movie perfectly uh, blends in with the beginning of the movie. And it's this eternal uh, search and this eternal wandering through this, this sculptural world which never ends. Nature became increasingly uh, important as a theme in my work, especially nature by itself, landscapes, and of course there's some, uh, sometimes a character playing an active part in, in the nature, but especially the landscape by itself, uh, that came out of uh, my specific interest in the, in the art history of plenarism. So it, it came out of my interest as a, in plenarism, which is an art form created or in the beginning of 19th century, uh, no, end of 19th century, beginning of 20th century, where you have characters as uh, Bonnard and Monet, uh, of course, the Impressionist movement in, in France. And for me, it's uh, particularly interesting because it's on the opposite side of what I'm actually doing. Uh, I stay as much as possible in my studio. I don't like to travel. And I see my work here in my studio as kind of inner travel. So I pretend to be a plenarist. Uh, and in that sense, I would never be one. But um, it's very tempting and appealing to me to uh, pretend that I am one. And, by doing so, it fits perfectly in my work, as a, which is a fake autobiography uh, from the beginning on. I decided to, to create a story, a fictitious story, about uh, a life I would have never lived, um, a life that I don't have because I spent my life uh, almost entirely here in my studio. I think I like this display, this kind of uh, salon hanging of the works because it reflects uh, um, the way I'm making the work in the first place here in, in the studio, but it also uh, reflects the intention of telling a story. I think my work is about storytelling and that's what I do try to do, it's like tell a story and I think it's the perfect way of hanging the works and it reminds you of a comic strip in a way. You see connections between the drawings much more than if you would have a drawing here um, and then five meters uh, away another drawing. So uh, for me that's uh, the perfect hanging um, uh, for my work. So what I try to do is I investigate uh, the medium of drawing in all its different aspects. It just means that my whole practice is um, broadening and it, very practically 
it means that I come down here in the studio every day and then I just decide what I'm up to uh, for the day. So it could be that I feel much more like uh, making a charcoal drawing or much more like a color pencil drawing or an oil pastel uh, drawing. So it also depends from, from the, the image I'm working on. Um, so there is a lot more possibilities um, in dealing with the image uh, because there is many more medias available now. I do not leave my studio that much. Uh, also, what I do in this daydreaming in my studio, these inner travels I make, also part of these inner travels are conversations with people I've never met. For example, uh, I have a conversation going on with uh, Pierre Bonnard or I have a conversation going on with Edward Munch, but also with people uh, that are still living today. Like, for example, I have a uh, huge fascinations for the work of uh, Liu Xiaodong, the Chinese uh, contemporary painter. I never met him. It's also not my my intention. And then I think it's interesting to develop these inner uh, dialogues with them uh, or these fictitious uh, conversations with all these artists. And of course, it's interesting to do it with painters or artists from the past, but also with, with living painters. And for me, it's a way to include this art history uh, in my own work. For next year, I have a couple of shows uh, scheduled. Uh, one of them is a big museum show in the Museum Voorlinde uh, in the Netherlands. It will be not a retrospective because I'm too young for a retrospective, but um, it will be a kind of overview of the last 15 years of my work. Uh, in all media, like there will be a lot of drawings, but there will be also sculptures, which are decors for the films I'm making. There will be a film also, there will be ceramic ashtrays. Um, so everything will come together.